Hola. When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought. Having breakfast on the roof? Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof? Mummy put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses. But they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? Said Mummy. Sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. Everything was all a bit strange. Come back later. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. Shall we go in the telescope? Yeah. Don't we look yeah. through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences, but that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I love all my holidays, so different from every day. On my holidays, I go to new places, there's lots of new faces. On my holidays, the change is amazing, the sun can be blazing. On my holidays, I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting. On my holidays, la 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 And your treats and your meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and the smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? 
The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello! I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said, Hello! Hola! I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at some I liked the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't understand what she said. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hola. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. With lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? Si. See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. Yeah. La 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 Go for it, Tig. Have even more holiday fun and say hola to everyone. Yeah. See, I thought I can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. Um, adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. That's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. Hola. Hola, said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We began since we were here. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. 
Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-hoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Come on there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. Under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chuck. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. We were happy again. Oh, there. Do you have tickets? I showed Willy to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Thunder! When I was little, I liked big live noises. Willie liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. 
I didn't yeah, like you know, thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, then, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Put them here. I never seen okay. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. <laughs> I liked the noises. It was exciting. Did you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, hey, loud hey guys, clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. Let's see. We took Let's see turns to roll Let's the ball see. and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun! When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Teague, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next. Or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball, and clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball, and clatter! That was a strike. Ten pins! So go for it, Tig. See how loud the next bang will be. Yes, I thought. Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs. You okay, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh! And then I I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling, and I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy pulled me up. I liked the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I liked the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. 
That's how those people do, Mummy. They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people wore wheels around in their beds. Looking for their pyjamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Whoa. with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. <laughs> Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy's still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, -doo did -do -do. <laughs> But they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. <laughs> it's only a size five, <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee.